Hey, it's been a while since I've done the good old fashioned, just the commentary run without any uh, goal, really. I mean, there is a goal here, really. Um, so, this is a ESA submission video, I guess, but also the run that I got sucks, and I don't want to upload it, but I kind of want to get the full run of Dusk and why I've been playing it out. So, yeah, Dusk is a, a good FPS game that I've been played lately. And it's fun. It's a fun speed run. I'll try going single segment as if uh, I'm doing actual run, but uh, for the sake of ESA submission, I'll finish this run regardless. Uh, so there are three episodes in this run, and I would estimate this run being sub 30 RTA. If I can make that time, I suck, but it should be easy. Alright, so like three, two, one, uh, go. Right off the bat, kind of jump intruder. and uh, miss the, the, the hole. That's perfectly normal. This is a very fast-paced game. It's on uh, Unity engine, it's not like Quake engine or anything. Heavily inspired by Quake, Blood, and Doom. Probably all all of above. Except movement is like actually way simpler in this game compared to like any of those games. <laughs> Well, Blood is uh, a simple movement-wise game, but otherwise not really. So, in a secret, picking up Riveter, uh, the rocket launcher of this game, provides really good boosts, uh, makes you go real fast. Also playing on the easiest difficulty as a result, uh, we probably won't die. Still probably will. I mean, this round isn't exactly free, but... Ah, no. hitting triggers is hard. Uh, one thing to note is that I'm not exactly best player, but I picked it this recently and uh, I don't know. In a bit I can probably be second place on leaderboard or something. I mean, it's not hard to be decent at this game, but it's really freaking hard to be really good at it. Like, people who have IL records and the guy who holds the full game uh, and uh, individual levels, uh, no, individual episodes is like crazy good, uh, so this is like the longest level. Movement is very basic, in fact you can just buffer jump, so what I do is just I just jump, you don't need like a scroll wheel or anything. In fact with scroll wheel it actually kind of works worse, I don't know why, but yeah, it, it does. Well, first episode is kind of your very basic FPS, kind of to uh, get you into the setting, but this game actually is uh, gonna troll you, kind of, not really. So that switch opens a secret, allows you to skip a tire level. I could have picked that one up, so I would have fired faster, but whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, the the goal is uh, go fast and shoot things. Ah, I missed the guy. So the category that I'm running is inbounds, which means that I'm not allowed to go out of bounds. There are certain out of bounds skips in this run. Um, not in this particular, but in this game, they're in separate category. Make the game quite faster than this, but I, I just like this category more. Oh, I should have shot that switch. So, so certain switches you can't shoot, certain the other ones you can't really. Oh, come on. Practice this level. Uh, hello. It's one of switches that you can't shoot, spooky ghost. Yeah. No. If I were to do that at ESL, I'd probably have someone to commentate, maybe talk about something. As you can see, it's like a lot of things happening, and uh, I can't really explain. I mean, there isn't much to explain here, really. Oh, frick. That's pretty good. I practiced this level. Now <laughs> oh, that's. 
Uh, not entirely bad, actually. Nah, mo most skips, like a lot of skips in this game are actually like intended by the developer. Not sure about the out-of-bound skips, but, you know, maybe some of them are as well. There are definitely out of bounds things that he knew you would find. So some of them have like uh, achievements tied to them or just uh, you're not supposed to be here text. So Duke Bros ignoring them as well as Intoxicator. It's kind of uh, how this game is gonna be going. Like a lot of bosses we're just not gonna be fighting. So this level we're gonna make a heavy use of Riveter. Just skip everything. It's not out of bounds because we just jump over the wall. Don't really go anywhere. Uh. Oh my god, I keep missing this jump, really. Like, soldier on the left can really mess you up. A good jump would have made it up there, but. And didn't should switch. Point. Hello. It's actually almost episode one done. Just oh yeah. Why am I shooting that? I can't shoot that switch. That's kind of the boss level. Switches are always the same, so it's just uh, just memorize, press buttons, easy. Uh, it doesn't matter which you press here, it gives you a different health for a boss, from what I remember. That's kind of about it. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. I mean, world record for this first episode is like 359. My PB is 5 or 8. It's like crazy, crazy how good the record is. Uh, second episode starts uh, with new enemies. Oh, we already had soldiers, but now we have the, the flame people. Uh, uh, that was uh, not good. I'm actually I actually messed up. I need to get a crossbow there. I I really need it for this run. Um, you'll know why. All right, so we use the riveter, which we. Out from a secret to just skip uh, this level. So normally introduces you to climbing mechanic, climbing gear, but you know, eh. I wasn't that terrible, even though I messed up quite a lot. So this is uh, one of the horror levels. Very spooky. So like, I mean, in episode 1 there was like, the mine level, which was technically the spooky level. I kinda of breezed through it and even gold it. Here you get introduced to Vendigos, invisible enemies. Make your light, light flicker, also breathe heavily as you can hear, probably, if my audio isn't too low. Oh wow, that was really good. Uh, that was really bad. <laughs> I want a machine gun. Three, four, five. I'm gonna go safe. You only need four there if you do it correctly. Uh, hello. Uh, into the thresher. One of my least favorite levels. For no reason. Has a cool fight, casually it's a pretty cool level actually. Like this arena is pretty cool. So I'm gonna switch to crossbow. So crossbow is a very good feature, it's very useful. Uh, the crossbow shots actually go through the walls. What I'm gonna do here is... Uh... Oh yeah, well, you can also slide, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna line up, shoot and hit the switch uh, through the walls. Also enemies. It's like intended mechanic and episode 3 utilizes that a lot. Like makes you... F forces you to do that like quite often. Uh, Infernal Machine, this is the first level where I can actually like die. I didn't. 
I don't think I still can die. It's this again is, is kind of a spooky level because you break your flashlight when you fall. Right here, gonna line up. There isn't like a faster setup for this, but if enemies start shooting you, you pretty much lose it instantly. Yeah, from time to time, Jake, uh, Jacob is talking to us. He is a cult leader. There's some story happening. Uh, this level is cool, so uh, it kinda shape shifts. And turns into a complete mess. Really cool level. It's like the first. This is where dusk gets real, kind of. This is where people. Many people would say this is where Dusk becomes a bit more interesting. So shoot that, Mama spawns, we don't care for her. We actually don't care for like almost all bosses, but I think I already said that. Alright, that was pretty good. Astro Labs, Erebus Reactor. This is uh, one of the most favorite games, I guess, uh, for games levels in this game. Oh, that was a triple kill. That was a really badly space jumps. So here I can use crossbow to. Oh no, please don't. She also uses riveter, the the small mama. I think they're called call girls or whatever. So here you can actually line up that shot, but I I'm really bad at it. You can also look at this. Opens this door. And there's a big jump here. We don't want to fight him. He's he's very nice, though. I believe that's a Rise of a Triad reference right there. But... Ooh, gold split, nice. Oh, dude. Now Babel and I mess up once again. But yeah, levels get really interesting. I need that key. Shoot that. Shoot that with the last cross bolt as well. I would have missed that. I mean, the fact that I missed it twice is already kind of embarrassing, but that, that'll do. Episode 2 is kind of the most straightforward out of 3. There's also this super hot power up here. It's like literally time moves when you move. Not gonna be looking too much at it because it, it, it isn't fast. I'm not interested in looking at power ups. That's a cool thing, nonetheless, right? This is like the most boring level in the entire episode. Literally, worst one. I mean, it's not worst casually, it's actually pretty. Pretty cool level. There's Vendigo. Likes to run away from you somehow. Uh, hello. Oh my god, it got stuck on everyone. Let's go down. Oh, you can also flip weapons. Very cool feature. You can actually do damage like that, there is an achievement for that, but whatever. That was a very good jump on ladder. Ladders are a bane of uh, first person shooters. Oh my god. The explosion didn't hit the. Didn't hit the guys. Another semi horror section coming up. Very cool. YouTube thumbnails, here we go. This is probably the long, uh, like the longest uh, not boss level in the game. This is kind of a SCP staircase reference right there. Or 
or you go down and then... Oh fuck, what am I doing? That Bendigo ambushes you instead of a spooky something. We use this secret because it's actually very useful and allows you to just get here instead of going all the way back. It's very easy to get lost in this level. Oh yeah, crossbow also uh, has a has a cold one. It's not a cold back. What's it called? A throwback back. It's gonna become more relevant in episode three than it is in episode two. In episode two, it's barely relevant. All right. That's actually really good. Episode two I might be on the PB base here. Oh my god, I almost died. Gladly I don't need health for this if I don't mess up. Here is a boss, but we don't want to fight him, so... As that crossbow goes through the walls, so... Oh wow, well, uh... Do the... Do the jump, do the shots, and... Peace out. That wasn't my best episode too, but was pretty decent. Alright, but I still didn't die, so I'm on a full game PV pace so far. It can still be over only 3M7, so that's fine. So episode 3, that one is quite a meme. Here we... I'm not, I'm not sure if Sword was always in the game, because I remember when I bought this game on... Uh, when it was in Alpha, when only episode 1 was out, I don't think Sword was a weapon. I only remember it appearing from episode 3 being introduced. Also new, episode 3 introduces the, the most, the biggest amount of new enemies. There are also these green crystals that I'm not using. This is uh, to make enemies in fight. Oh well. The crossbow, very important. Oh, come on. Got benched by girls, also doggo. Alright, this level is is fun. This level is fun. We'll fire a nice, uh, very broken level, if you're good at it. Oh yeah, I never explained how jumping works. You just, you just buffer jumps and jump. Alright. There's a hole. Okay. Uh, hello. Line up. Line up. I think I missed my line up. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, well, it was kind of slow, but uh, I believe it still was faster than going to all to all the switches. On that outside area, there are like. Oh my goodness! Really. There are a few switches that you need to shoot. We also messed, messed up my PB, yeah, so it's still safe time. Well, it was pretty bad though. And right, here, very easy lineup. If I can hit it generally around the first, second try. Uh, so in this level, you're supposed to, like, first of all, you're supposed to open that door and then press the switch and then go down the well, but you can just shoot the switch and go down the well. And then here you're supposed to raise water, but I'm gonna do that because it's slow. Because as you can see, swimming is slow, and this level will, uh, if you shoot this, if you press the switch, it will make the water rise everywhere, and that's not good. Oh my god, six crossbow shots, that's not good. But yeah, we can just boost with crossbow and uh, there is water here because thanks dusk dev <clears throat> and down we go also this level has like each level in this game is like pacifistable speedrunnable 100%able and 
something else. That's another spooky level. Oh wow, I actually did hit the shot despite uh, messing up. But yeah, this level is all only spooky if you do it intended way. It'll be a horror here. There he is. Spooky guy. We'll see him a couple more times in, in this run. He is, uh, he's very sad, very scary. So I'll introduce him properly if you don't just shoot the switch through the wall and skip to the last part of it. So here, uh, this is uh, one of the cooler levels. Also has one of the coolest skips, completely intended. So we haven't used, oh my god. No, no, ah, uh, fuck. Well, rip my single segment run. Uh, so this run can go on leaderboards anymore. I mean, it can, but it will be RTA only, which is... Oh my god, why? Fuck you! Oh my god. Great. Mm. So I want to grab the freaking soap. Instead, I'm grabbing the barrel. Uh... Why soap? Well, soap is uh, the ultimate weapon in Dusk. It can uh, one-shot almost everything, or like everything. It can also break things. This was uh, probably the easiest level to not do any mistakes in this entire episode. Oh, I'm at 100 morale, and I did about the only thing I could could have done to lose time here. Well, wouldn't be me. Probably will get the 3M7 first try. No, I need Riveter really badly. Oh, well, it wasn't a bad level, but RTA wise, everything is over. So, this level introduces you to the fact that you can actually stack the. The weapon buffs. If I were if I were fast, I would have gotten uh, three stacks there, but I messed up. But if you get a very fast, uh, uh, that's horror. If you get a very fast SSG, it shoots faster than a machine gun. There's another horror. So from this point onward, levels. Well, Go away. I messed up the turns again. Levels kinda become... Um, the game starts referencing... The levels that we already visited and also where the hell am I? Yeah, I lost a uh, very big portion of time here. The level was really bad. Alright, this is level where, as I said, I can like, mess up. So this level normally makes no sense, because everything is like upside down turned to the very various sides. There are also things that you can press to like uh, change the, not the gravity, but like, well yeah, the gravity, I guess. And this skip, like in actual run, this is like a run defining skip more than anything, and as I said, I'm gonna get it, first try, not a problem, it's like the only level which takes some time to load my PC, whatever. Wow, I have so much HP. This level is ultimate reference to the every level we've done before. So getting rivet rivets is very important here because we're gonna use it for a final boss. Ah, I missed the key. Come 
I'm gonna boost slower, but whatever. Don't need the armor. Jacob is not gonna do anything to me. So this is E1 and 1 again. Alright. Finish the cycle. Or complete the cycle, whatever it says. So this level, uh, normally a big arena fight. 200 something enemies. Pretty difficult. If you're playing on the hard difficulty, I almost messed up. <laughs> but there is also, as I said, there is a pacifist way on every level. And that's the pacifist way for this one. Oh man, I would have been on a pretty decent pace actually. Oh well. Uh, so, time to open final portal. Fight the final wink wink boss. Uh, hello. Can grab the armor, but I don't think I'll need it. If I die to Jacob, so be it. Doesn't even matter at this point. We're gonna hit him. Oh my god, that was kind of really good Jacob fight. So this is Jacob, the cult leader. And once you almost kill him, he gets annihilated by his disciples. And dies. And, uh, well, I guess it's time for us to go. And we go up the stairs, and then the big reveal happens. The greatest yes. voice actor of all time. And he accomplished so much. But then, you came along. You, who were stronger. You, who were faster. You, I like better. Who did you expect at the end of all of this? God? The devil, perhaps? No. It's just me. Yeah, uh, this boss. Uh, I'm shooting at seemingly random parts of a wall. In fact, I just know where I'm shooting, uh, except for when I'm missing. Over. Yeah, that was a really good run, actually. My power is it might be a gold split as well. And 22. It's not a episode 3 PP. Damn, it would have been a really good run if I didn't mess up. Isn't it? Hello. But wonderful, yes. <laughs> Who you were before is insignificant. Who you are now is inconceivable. But here you shall remain till I have need of you again. For one must always reign beneath dust. And that's the game. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know what the estimate would be. Um, I might put some weird number, like 32 minutes, but I mean, there is still a long time to go. So I've been having real blast playing this game. I mean, like it a lot. It's uh, easy to learn, very hard to master because movement is like very, very... Uh, not basic, but it's like very intuitive. And then when you start getting everything down it's like really hard to chip seconds off but there is so many seconds to chip off there and there it's like an incredible experience but all in all yeah i guess that'll do for now thanks for watching